Peace. 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 It's the dog. Dude, and I'm back in the building. Yo, 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 what's good, Ray Bloodline family? What's good, dog? Dude, is in family? What's good, a co college gang gang? What's good, HOC gang gang? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? It's good, y'all. What up? What up? What up? New lessons, new lessons. The Lord Shiva lessons is here. Today is the first lesson. Notification squad, get out here. Hashtag Dark Lordism. Like the video. Like the video to get the notifications out. Hashtag Lord Shiva. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Got a lot of stuff, important, important stuff to talk about today in today's lesson. Really important stuff to talk about. Um, Shiva lessons are not going to be... Just like none of these lessons, Shiva lessons are not going to be easy. <laughs> Shiva lessons are not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. We're going to learn a lot about Lord Shiva. Um, I was looking at some stuff online, and no one breaks his energy down properly. So don't bother going on YouTube, Google, or none of that. Let me take care of that for you. All right? So... I want everybody to take their pen and pad out now because I want to start now. Take your pen and pad out now. I want to start now. All right, so Shiva is hard to break down because you have to experience Shiva. You have to experience Lord Shiva um, before you gain an understanding of the energy that's being talked about. And you have to be taught properly who Lord Shiva is, or you have to be taught how to work with Shiva properly. And the first thing that has to be done, especially if you have a Western mindset, is you have to take the deity, that personification, of Shiva, you have to take, throw that in the garbage. Throw it in the garbage temporarily. All right? So you want to focus solely on that primordial energy. All right? So the deity don't exist for right now. Let me know if that makes sense to y'all. So, when people are like, Lord Shiva will get mad at you if you do this or that, or I call Lord Shiva for that, throw that in the garbage. If you're thinking like that, or if that's been your, your assessment of how Shiva operates and who Shiva is, you already are off. That's why I'm telling you to delete everything you know about Shiva. All right. Now, I'm not going to tell you today who Shiva is, what Shiva actually is, uh, because it's too early. All right. So remember, a lot of this science is experience based science. So if you don't have a certain experience yet, other things you don't have access to, You're not privy to know who Shiva is prior to experiencing the energy. So I'm going to show y'all that tonight. So tonight, uh, make sure y'all write it down. Tonight's a meditation at 11, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So tonight's meditation will give you the experience of who that is. All right? All you have to do is listen to the meditation with good headphones. You don't need no yantras, none of that. If you tune into this frequency properly, you will come face to face with the experience. Once you get the experience, then you work more with the experience and then you start looking into the deity. You need the experience first. Shiva's too big to just put into the category of a deity. 
too important, too big, too, too um, high ranking. All right. So that's important. All right. So the elements, earth, water, fire, air, ether. Make sure y'all write it. Earth, water, fire, air, ether. Earth, water, fire, air, ether. Write that down in order. Earth, water, fire, air, ether. In order. All right. So a combination of earth, water, fire, air, ether. Uh, we have the Maha Mantra, right? So let me make sure I put it properly in the chat. Or the Great Maha Mantra. So um nama shivaya um nama shivaya do it one more time um nama shivaya all right make sure y'all writing Om Nama Shivaya. I put it in the chat. So for the next 30 days or so, y'all gonna be chanting that throughout the night. Right? So Om precedes every mantra, really. That's important. We know Om. We know all about Om, especially if you've been part of the family for a minute. The primordial essence, all of the sounds within the universe, millions and millions of sounds. Nothing is before Om. All right. So, Na, N A, equals Earth. Ma equals water. She is fire. She is important. So Om Namah Shivaya. There's an emphasis on she. She is fire. Right, so we going into the science of the beat of sounds and the, the beat of sounds to the elements. Ba is air. Ba is air. Ya is ether. So Om Namah Shivaya. So, primordial essence, earth, fire, earth, water, fire, air, ether. Um, it's important to deal with this on a primordial metaphysical essence first before identifying the deity. If you do it backwards, you never know who Shiva is and you never know how to properly work with Shiva. You won't understand the concept of Shiva. Plus one, if that makes sense. Now, when you are connecting with the elements of earth, water, fire, air, and ether, magic happens. Magic happens. Magic happens. So, 
throw Shiva in the garbage. And the meditation is on earth, water, fire, air, ether. Every time you chant the Maha Mantra. Now, when you chant the Maha Mantra, every night throughout the night, then an energy of nothingness will connect itself with you. The energy of nothingness is Shiva. I'm not going to go deeper than that. But you got to connect with the meditation of the elements first. And then everything will start and begin to make sense. All right? If you had an understanding of Shiva representing something different before that, you got bamboozled. It took me a minute to, sometimes it takes me a minute to come up with lectures on popular deities like Shiva because the, uh, these energies are misrepresented and I have to find the right words to break it down properly to how you properly can have an understanding on how to work with them. So that's why it's been like two years before I got back to Shiva. Don't worry about Shiva being an alien. None of that. If you do that, you're not going to feel that energy of nothingness, that black hole, that, that no thing uh, intelligence connecting with you. You're not. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. All right. So let me make sure I put the mantra properly in the in the chat here. So Om Namah Shivaya slowly, 108 times slowly. Tonight, throughout the night. But remember, we have a Lord Shiva meditation part one. Uh, at 11, 11 p.m. tonight. If you make that meditation tonight live, you will be happy. If you don't make the meditation tonight, I don't know, because I ain't putting it on YouTube. It's going right on Patreon. So I'm just letting y'all know that. Letting y'all know that. It's going, we're going live on YouTube. If you catch it live, cool. But I hope you got a Patreon membership when I'm done with that meditation. Any Anyone... Um, does anyone have any questions? I might want to do this meditation earlier. Hmm. I'm gonna do that at eleven eleven. Matter of fact, I want let's let's take a vote. If if you down with eleven eleven p.m., press one. If you want nine p.m., press two. If you want earlier, press three. What is ether? That's what Mike Evans asked. See, y'all was not paying attention in science class in school. <laughs> Mike Evans, um, inbox me on Facebook. I'll break down what ether is. But you were not paying attention in science class. They, they taught y'all this. They taught us this. Om Namah Shivaya 108 times slowly or 1080 times if you can if you can handle it. My bad, sir. This inbox me. I got you. If you can conduct a meditation with the elements consistently, you can control matter. All right. But you need to know how to conduct meditations with the elements 
consistently and properly. That's why you want to say the Maha Mantra because it has the elements in order. Very important for you to know that. All right. Um, so y'all already know. All right. So this less this lesson's over. Y'all already know. Um, y'all are up against me going on paid leave. So that means you gotta do your homework. You gotta talk about how dope this lesson was in the group and all that. You gotta do your homework and you gotta talk about how your experience with the homework and what you got out of this lesson. Um, I'm still threatening paid leave, all right? 11-11, oh yeah, I got a lot of ones. Okay, so 11-11 tonight, if you want to be well acquainted with the experience, you just need yourself. Um, any amount of candles, no yantras, I will take care of the rest. Just need some good headphones. Did you get my text, Dark Lord? Um, text me again. I probably did get your text, but I, don't be, I probably didn't check my phone. So text me again. All right. See y'all tonight. Paid family, I got some 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 sauce for y'all. So paid family, five. Paid family, I'm gonna be live in eight minutes, five fifty-five p.m. Five fifty-five p.m. I'm gonna get y'all. I'm gonna give y'all a chance to get situated. All right, y'all. One love. I love y'all. If the HOC got any lessons, y'all gotta do that homework too. I'm going on paid leave. All right. One love. Peace.